everybody, it's Casey Van Gogh. Show me. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. So today we're going to be watching the eleventh episode of Andor. Oh my god, guys! The last episode was absolutely fantastic. You guys already know my thoughts on it. It was such a great episode. Today we're in a bit of a different setup uh, because my mum's busy in that other room, and I won't lie. Just to start off really quickly, I am sick as a dog. So I am so sorry if this is not going to be. As enthusiastic as last week's episode, uh, I'm dying right now. Um, I've just got a cold, don't worry, don't stress. Um, but yeah, gonna try my best to get through this. My throat is killing me, so I might be quiet. Uh, I'm gonna try, but knowing me, um, it's probably gonna, I'm probably gonna talk and it's gonna get worse. But anyway, we're gonna be watching the 11th episode, Daughter of Ferex. Oh, I'm excited. Um, obviously, this is part one finale, so next week's gonna be part two, obviously. Whew. So we're not going to delay any further. We obviously know how good last week's episode was. We may get into that later, but for now, we're going to jump straight into the episode. So let's go. But before that, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoyed this video, but also keep up to date with all my other reactions to more TV shows, movies, and video games. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. Oh my god. I can't click that up. You hear me? I hear you. My hands won't work. I said, I hear you. Tell me they're leaving. They're leaving. <laughs> they're leaving. Oh. Get rid of that Betty. We'll save it for Cassia. Okay. She would have wanted it that way. What? Oh, is she gone? I'm gonna take her out in a minute if you want to say goodbye. She died, didn't she? I did, don't want to be alone. Aww. I want Mama Marva. Oh my god. Oh. oh, this... Do they poison her? Oh my god. Hello, Editor Shimey here. Now, I just want to say <laughs> it looks weird because I'm just looking off into a corner, I know. But... <laughs> it really is just me looking into an actual mirror that's behind my camera. Um, if people know from like ages ago, it doesn't actually have like the flip out like thing I can look into anymore that makes me look like I'm actually looking at the camera. Um, but yeah, now I just look like a widow looking to the side because I'm looking in the mirror that's reflecting if the camera turns on and off like with the videos. So just letting you know, I'm not crazy. It's just me looking... <laughs> <laughs> at the mirror and yeah I just look like a weirdo but anyway enjoy <laughs> no, <I feel it. laughs> no hesitation uh oh oh going to give them a permit keep it yeah small. limit the time limit the numbers we want to put them in a box stand back and watch and see if cassian shows himself oh my god no Well, I mean, at least they got a ride. That's terrifying, though. I gave him out, Donnie. What have you done lately? Oh! <laughs> Lives on the floor and needy, panicked faces at the window, of which you are but one of many. She, she seems to be, yeah, doing a lot of work. Well, let him know. Do that. I mean, that theory might be true still. I mean, I'm not sure that she is the sister, but still. Possibly. She seems visibly upset, so that makes me curious. <laughs> they make a sound as they die. Oh, is that Bix? Oh my god. God. Poor thing. Oh my. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think she's breaking, which I don't, like, blame her. But also, why are these children chanting? Is this a cult? Is it some sort of, like, prayer thing or something? Oh, Vil must feel guilty. I found a solution. Mm. What are you doing here? Well, I just you. <sighs> the look she gave them. Mon Moth, my Jesus. <sighs> oh, Mon. I feel so bad for her. Oh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this Andor. guy. Yes. And on. I'm calling about Andor. You wanted news if I had it. Yeah, yes, please, go on. Ready to be caught? The mother! You were talking about Andor. Yeah, she's she's passed away. Andor's mother? Where is Andor? Yes! Yes, that's it! He might show up at the funeral! Oh no! If he's there too! Yeah, it's a Cyril's a bit of a weird one. I after what happened last time with Deidre, I'm like I don't trust him at all. He's gonna be very like sporadic, I feel. Oh, we're back here. Why are we back here? Cassian? <laughs> Did he sneak into that room? Oh, he snuck into the room. Okay, that's why I was like, dude, did you really go and, like, do that again? <laughs> go, 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 go. Aw, cute. At least he didn't disturb them. That's the main thing. I mean, I'll do it. What? Spellhouse Power Station. Tell Krieger I'm in. I think not. Huh? But Krieger, he doesn't know. Uh, oh yeah, they were gonna throw Krieger under the bus, I think, or something. I mean, it yeah, it seems like he did. Sure, right now. What if it was me instead of Krieger? What would you do? Krieger doesn't know me. I'm not vulnerable. If he he can't hurt me, like I can. I mean, you have people everywhere, don't you? I'm avoiding the question. All of your sources. Try to concentrate. Someone with Krieger? Someone at ISP? Maybe there's someone here with me. You're wasting time. Why wouldn't you? You're avoiding the choice. Who is it? It's Tubes. He is a chico. Putuka. It's my man. He tells me everything. Tell him he deserves to know. Losing. What kind of game is this? Uh, oh, that escalated real quick. Krieger goes down. The ISP will feel invincible. Don't feel untouchable. That's true. Not clear field to play. Thirty men. Plus Craig. For the greater good. Call it what you will. Oh. It's calling war. But it's so true. It's so bloody true, though. That line. We'll talk about it later. But that was a really good line. Freaks me out. Oh, what is he doing? Oh, he's stealing money, bro. <laughs> really? You have a job. You need to think of the consequences of losing that piece to another collector. Is it about Endor? Preparing for every outcome. Listen. Listen. Oh no. Oh, thank you for the warning. Uh, I'll be careful. You'll be standing by, is what you'll be doing. Power the tractor beam. Oh. Tractor beam? Oh no. Engine overheating here, so it may take a moment. Counter issues charge. Oh. ID confirmed, sir. Alderaan Trade Alliance. Cancel the boarding? No. We can use the practice. You son of a- Some pirate Holcraft. Where do you think he's gonna go? Final warning, 
Ooh, I'm excited. No, do it, do it, do it, do it. What is that? What is that? Oh! Holy crap! See what you can do, losing. Oh! Oh! He comes! Ah! Yes! Go! Oh! So cool! I loved it. Us. What if we're the only ones? Somebody's got to tell people what's happening by now. We yes. just well. Double our chances. One of us has to make it. He looks like such a lust boy. Oh, is that it? Damn it. Again, overall, I think this episode was good, though, because we did go to certain topics that we did touch upon last last episode, um, particularly Mon Mothma. The whole thing with the daughter, whew, like, I feel like with what- I don't know what she was practicing. I feel like that has something to do with the Chandrilla, or however you say it. Sorry, I don't know how to say it. But how- um, but that sort of custom, I feel like that's something that she's practicing, um, just out of her own free will. So in a way, I feel like that does give Mon Mothma a little bit of leverage because I feel like the daughter will be like, oh yeah, that means I can be away from mum. Like obviously I can be in contact with dad, but that doesn't mean I have to be in contact with mum. Because the way that she even was like looking at her and the attitude she's just constantly giving, it's like, oh, I don't think that that relationship is ever going to heal from whatever it is going to be. I feel like if my if I acted like that towards my mum, my mum would be like, mm. No, she wouldn't have. But still, like, the attitude that that girl has, my god, I even want to just be like, girl, stop. Show some respect. <laughs> I did like all the stuff that we had with Luthen. Um, it feels like he pops up every now and again in the episode, but this episode, there was a lot of Luthen heavy stuff in this one. Particularly, I love the whole thing with Saw Gerrera and Luthen. Like, that felt really poignant, especially because... It focuses a lot on war and the sacrifices that are made, and we've spoken about this in previous episodes, like with sacrifice that is made for the greater good, but also how in history it goes down as being, oh, it can be looked as as bad, obviously. And obviously hearing about this, it's like they're sacrificing 30 people, and it's like, and plus Krieger, it's still like, like, oh, like, can you believe that? And just not having to turn a blind eye to 30 people dying, 31 people dying, um... And just letting them die. And just being like, yes, we need to do this so the greater force or empire feel good about themselves and then we can strike and make them feel panicked. And it's just like, oh god. Like, the, the way that that's written and thought of, that is really, really good. And just, it's messed up. Because that is something that is like sort of like part of that strategic part of war that's very... Ugh, dark. <laughs> so I do like that they included that because that's a very interesting part. Oh, that scene with Bixler. Oh my god, like she looks. I don't know what's gonna happen to her. I feel like she might die in the next episode just because she looks absolutely tarnished, like absolutely destroyed. And I feel so bad for her. Um, and I feel like she is unfortunately giving in like I wouldn't blame her whatever she's listening to is it looks terrifying and sounds terrifying so I wouldn't blame her um and it fe I feel like it has so much psychological effect on her and it's taking a toll on her whole body like I wouldn't 
yeah, nothing against her at all. But at the same time, it's like, no, please. Cyril, I definitely know we're going to see him next episode. He's going to go after Andor. He's going to Ferrex, which is terrifying. Um, I do not like him. He creeps me out and just... Yeah, I don't. I, I feel like we're definitely gonna see him next episode, which is terrifying. Um, and I also feel like Deej is also gonna make her way there too. So I feel like everybody's gonna converge on Ferrex, and I feel like there is gonna be some sort of like altercation or battle. And then I think Andrew is gonna have to leave for good. And this is when he sort of is like, "Yes, I need to find more people, or I need to find Luthen and get together with him and work on this rebellion stuff. Or f- get, get back together with Melshi, because Melshi left this episode, but it's understandable, because he's spreading the word, which is good. And yeah, this that's exactly what Cassian will do. I feel like once he comes to terms with everything in Ferex, he'll definitely be like, okay, now it's time to fucking work. Like, this is the time. And yeah, once obviously he he deals with Deidre and all this stuff, who I feel we'll see in season two, but once he deals with them now and goes off, he's like, now I need to spread the word and I need to start this right now. And then obviously it's going to lead into Rogue One. Just, I, I really liked this episode because it did dig into everyone's sort of story at the moment. It felt sort of like, what episode is it? I think it was episode two or episode four where like we sort of saw everything, like it was like bits and pieces of every like story which is what I really enjoy so I like that we did get to see everything and again it's slowly coming together like it did in episode one and two and three so it's quickly coming together and we're gonna see all that conversion next. thank you guys so much for watching this hope you guys enjoyed this episode please give a like subscribe comment and tell me your thoughts on this reaction and this episode of Andor episode 11 uh daughter of Ferex. I will just say that whole opening Mm, made me sad because obviously they started talking and I was like oh is she sick like is like she looks so peaceful like is she sleeping and I was like and then they were just started to be like oh we should give this to Cassie and like she would want it it's like oh okay she's died um, I think that's my one criticism I feel like it would have been very emotional like if we got but I understand why because it's sort of like as if we're very much like in Andor's position where we didn't get to say goodbye. Like, the last goodbye was him saying, I'll be back. And then he 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 didn't come back in time. Like, oh, it's so painful. But, like, you know, like I would have loved to see Fiona Shaw again. Because she's so good, too. Like, I feel like one more scene would have been the icing on the cake. But at the same time, I do like that. Because, in a way... I'm thinking in very much like Hollywood style where it's like, you know, you get the goodbye or you get one last scene with them. But I feel like this is actually very realistic. So I, I thinking about it now, I actually really enjoyed it a lot more. And also, Diego Luna, like that moment where he finds out and he's just glazed over, like, I've, oh, which is, yeah, that was the most heartbreaking because he looked like, and again, it reminded me of him, like, as a child, like, from episode one, two, or three, like, where the younger version of Cass is just, like, very upset, just, yeah, Diego did such a good job, because it just immediately reminded me of young him, like, in, ep I think it's episode three, where he's just, like, breaking down in the ship, and he's breaking everything and upset, and he's, like, very, like, glazed over as a child, oh, this is so good, and just, yeah, Oh, I feel like the next episode is going to be really heartbreaking because I feel like he's going to be like sort of come to like that closing point of being like, okay, I got to put my past behind me. Now it's time to do deal with this rebellion and deal with the empire. Like, I feel like that's going to be a big, 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 big topic for next week. And oh, I'm so excited. I will just say, we're going to wrap up here because I'm starting to lose my voice, but the action like as little as it was the whole thing with um Luthen and the ship I wanted to cheer louder but I knew like I would lose but <laughs> it was so good I loved that that little like like thing at the back of the ship and just breaking the satellite that was so cool and it's just like in your face it's just like you think you can get me ping 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 just oh it was so good I loved that and then just him like sort of like swerving and then just hyperspacing it out of there in the faces of those douchebags, especially that leader. He was like, oh, we'll use it as target practice. Like, douche, go away. And this is what you get. <laughs>
So yeah, I really enjoyed that. But anyway, we're gonna stop here. Otherwise, me being me, I will go on a rant. But yeah, oh, I'm so excited for next week. So again, thank you guys so much for watching this, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Crazy Bingo out. Woo!